first day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Willie helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. 
It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Beepa, beepa. A fire engine came round the corner. I like the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. Firefighters said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. We wave bye-bye to the firefighters. Bye-bye, firefighters. There, wasn't that exciting? Said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah, let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Wee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beepa, beepa. We ran about being fire engines. Beepa, beepa. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. Don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willie came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting is happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Tig, look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire likes my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, 
I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. <laughs> Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one that. was grumpy. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were here. Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Cross. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. Right, On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. 
school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the road. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Okay, take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy picked me Come up right. and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy. And say sorry to Daddy. Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy.